an arrest made in the Black Friday killing of two teenage brothers at Sacramento's Arden Fair Mall. Today, the boy's father making an emotional plea, even forgiving the suspect and calling for an end to gun violence. Meanwhile, more arrests could be coming. CBS 13's Laura Haefeli is live at Arden Fair Mall tonight with the latest. Laura. Well, it was just 72 hours ago. Arden Fair Mall was filled with police after that fatal shooting that claimed the life of two brothers. As you said, an arrest has been made, but the family says the fight for justice is just getting started. Black Friday turned dark after a shooting at the Arden Fair Mall. I got a two down gunshot. And I love you guys, bro. I love you guys. The father of 17-year-old Saquon Reed James and 19-year-old Dwayne James devastated to learn both of his sons were killed. Uh, my kids, they gone. I can't get them back. Sacramento police confirm 18-year-old Demario Beck has been arrested and charged with murder. At first, I wanted to get revenge, but they go back, I get a little stronger. Police say the shooting was a result of a verbal argument that escalated between groups known to each other. According to the Sacramento Bee, video shows the victims may have also fired shots from their own guns during the altercation, but the Sacramento Police Department has not confirmed that. We've had a city that hasn't had any juvenile murders uh, for two years now. This year so far, we already have four. Sacramento Police Chief Daniel Hahn says it's a multi tiered problem with no single solution. Do we need to get guns off the street? Absolutely. Units that work closely with neighborhoods and organizations in our community being pulled to work protests. And he says the pandemic plays a major role as well. Sports, school, after school programs, anything where you have groups of people is pretty much shut down. It may be difficult, but the James family is calling on the violence to stop in the name of their loved ones. Mayor Steinberg did release a statement. He says a gun is never the answer. He also says he doesn't blame the mall for what happened and that this could have happened anywhere. The Sacramento Police Department is still interviewing witnesses from that night. And as you said, more arrests could be made. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Laura, thank you.